What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. And first things first, I wanna say thank you guys for all the love and all the support you guys have shown here recently. Uh, it's been absolutely phenomenal. All you guys, especially down here in this area in Florida, dropping comments on Instagram and here on YouTube and suggestions on like, you know, tips on how to fish down here and what to fish for. Like that's, I greatly appreciate all that. So uh, one more thing I'll say before we get started in this, uh, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Welcome. This is this is Yak Pack Outdoors. Welcome to the channel. I'm TJ. I'm your host. Uh, let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Seriously, when I say that, I mean it. Let us earn it. Uh, but with that being said, let's head over to the pool over here, and uh, we'll get started in today's video. Uh, so in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the the Gambler Big Easy. This is like the Florida. Just you have to. If you're in Florida, you have to fish these. Uh, I actually. I've never fished these. I usually fish these uh, Kitek swing impacts. This is a fat swing impact. Both of these, this is a uh, like the 4.8 inch, whatever. This is a 4.8 inch as well. So these are two very common and very effective swim baits. So we're gonna test these out today underwater and see what they look like. I do a little color change real quick. I, I had this white one right here, but I really don't think you guys are gonna be able to see the white. I got a couple comments in, in another video I did like this about uh, trying to avoid using white in the pool just because of the, the way it blends in and stuff. So we're gonna try this darker one. Got the darkest one I got. And uh, let's throw this Kitek first, check it out. All right, so like I said, first up, the Kitek. Uh, we're throwing this on a size six little uh, hook you screw the you know swim bait on top of it's a uh, size six one eighth ounce so see what it looks like oh missed the pool all right so let it sink and it looks like it's got a lot of action on the sink lots of action in the tail let it sink some more yeah so when this thing is sinking down it's it gives it that really vicious wib like wobble looks really good 20 bucks says I couldn't do that again. What? 20 bucks says I couldn't do that again. Skip it like I just did? There's no way. So the way I'm gonna retrieve this is basically how I retrieve all swim baits. Is I got a 661 Concept A right here. So just a slow reel, nothing fast, nothing crazy. Uh, and then sometimes if I'm not getting bit on that, before I switch baits completely, I'll, uh, I'll try you know reeling and I'll stop, let it pause and let it get that sink so it flaps like that uh, and then pick up the reel again. Nothing too crazy with these. These, I mean, the baits themselves, they do the work. So, all right, let's see what it looks like with that pause. All right, so real, pause. Oh yeah. Just dead stop, just completely stop reeling. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer to the GoPro so you guys can actually like really see it really good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and switch it up to the Gambler Lures Big Easy. Uh, again, this specific color is actually the Ghost Shad. Uh, it looked really, really good. That and the Copper Field both looked really, really solid. Uh, if it's not, you know, all white, then I like to have something like, still a really natural looking color for, for swim baits. Uh, so, yep, like I said, let's put this Big Easy on. Let's give her a shot. All right, and I'm telling you guys, this thing right here, just look at this. This, oh my goodness, the Big Easy. I'm really hoping these things work for me really well in Florida. I mean, supposedly they will. So let's check it out. All right, so what we're gonna do, basically the same exact thing. We're gonna reel this, uh, just like I did a couple times, straight towards the camera. We're gonna reel it, uh, get the action on it. And uh, then I'm gonna basically reel stop, reel stop, reel stop. Kind of like I would do, uh, like I said, if I'm not getting bit, just reeling it in. I'm gonna give it that pause, let it sink a little bit and let it see uh, what kind of action it has, number one, and uh, see if that way, if I'm actually out fishing, if I can actually, you know, capitalize and catch the fish that aren't wanting something just straight swimming. All right. So one thing that I can tell you right off the bat is that uh, these are a lot heavier. The density of these are a lot heavier. Uh, it's It's got a ton of action, Mike, especially in the tail section. So that's always, always a plus. Yeah, these things are super heavy. So even on this, uh, my thoughts probably behind this would be uh, that one eighth ounce hook, probably a little too much. Honestly, you probably just want to throw this uh, completely weightless. Right, scoot a little closer to the camera so you guys can get a feel for this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that tail action is just absolutely killer. All right, so now I'm going to retrieve this like a, like I was telling you. I'm going to real stop, real stop. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Let's see if this has the action that the uh, the Kitek has. See if this has the action on the way down, you know, when it's falling. See if it's got that, that very vicious wiggle. Let's check it out. All right. So we're going to reel it, and we're just going to completely just right dead in the water. Oh, that's surprising. Okay. So this actually looks like it almost spirals down, kind of like a fish would spiral down. Uh, that's interesting. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's see. It's got that really really nice, real loose wobble. Stop. Yep, and it's yeah, it spirals down. The tail doesn't necessarily kick like I would like it to. Uh, so I'm gonna try this a couple more times just to see if I can get that kick out of the tail. To make sure you know I'm not doing something wrong. Let's see. Nope. It's just got that spiral down. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. It's just got a little less action than the uh, than the Kotec does. All right, guys. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Go ahead and drop your comments down below. Which one of these would you rather use? I won't say. I won't necessarily say. Do you think one? But uh, which one of these would you rather use? The Gambler Big Easy or the Kotec Swing Impact? Uh, I will be sure to let you guys know my answer down in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Literally, just thumb thumb punch that thumbs up button if, uh, if you enjoyed the video. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like I said at the very beginning, let seriously, guys, let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Uh, thank you again for all the love and support you guys have been showing. It, it truly means the world to me. Uh, and I can't, I, honestly, I can't stress that enough. Uh, but with that being said, thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.